Hi, hello everyone. Uh, it's me again. Today we're going to talk about or uh, make a video about uh, how to use combo box to choose and activate seats in your workbook. Uh, this also means that uh, this uh, combo box <coughs> uh, is automatically update with whenever you add a uh, new sheets in your workbook so you don't have to type in uh, every time you uh, add new worksheets in your workbook okay let's first of course we need to insert a combo box uh, we can do it by click on developer tab uh, put on design mode and insert we use active x combo box right here okay this combo box still empty of course if you click on uh, the design mode turn turn it off you can see there is there's nothing in it so this uh, of course the idea is to uh, make this empty combo box to be filled with uh, option of these these seats right here so you can uh, choose and pick uh, the right uh, seats for you <coughs> uh, to do this we have to create a code a line lines of code that uh, based on the an event that event is because we want to make this automatically updated whenever you add new seats of course you have to uh, uh, put an event to make uh, the code uh, works i'm thinking a uh, event an event that could be used is uh, activate seats so whenever you choose this uh, combo box uh, choose sit any seats in this combo box they will <coughs> activate those uh, those seats and when you come back to seats number one uh, the, the the codes will run all over again uh, let me show you what I mean by that. Okay, now uh, I'm going to choose this worksheet, of course. Uh, then we, uh, whenever this worksheet activate, whenever the, this worksheet is active, this tab will run. Okay, uh, first we have to name this so it's easier for us to combo ship. We name this combo ship. <coughs> so we have to first declare worksheet as worksheet, of course. For this, I'm going to use uh for uh, this look for each worksheet worksheet in this work sorry workbook dot worksheets we close it first me me it means uh the object itself in this in this case is worksheets this worksheets me dot uh, combo sheet the name of our combo box right here 
uh, dot of course add item then space we have what item that we uh, can add or should add in this case of course the name of our seats right here <coughs> we have this worksheet as uh, <coughs> worksheet dot name <coughs> okay let's try this <coughs> there's nothing in it uh, we go to this number five then back to number one that means we will activate sheets number one so it will trigger that code to run now we have uh, our list of sheets right here uh, one tiny problem that if we back and forth like this the I <coughs> Uh, the name of the sheets will <coughs> uh, duplicate right here so we have to add uh, some codes to make this clear so the because we if we do this for the third time we have triple that name of sheets in the combo box so back to our code we have to clear out that name so back to me me that i mean is this worksheet me dot combo sheet dot clear whenever uh, this workbook activate the first code that uh, triggered is to clear the combo sheet and then they move to uh, for a uh, group right here let's try okay there's a lot of uh, seats right here back to number two next number one then now if we repeat that yeah, we still have no duplicates okay now uh, let's jump to uh, the part that the code uh, the part of the code that makes this uh, work uh, this combo box jump to the seat uh, uh, <coughs> appropriate to uh, the list we choose in the combo box We can do it by into the design mode view code. Now <coughs> with worksheet dot uh, sorry combo sheet dot value course you have to activate combo sheet value this means the name of the uh, sheet right here and then the code will select or activate that worksheet let's try have number two okay let's work oops we have problem because of okay we have problem because this composites is clear out with this line of code and this <coughs> code <coughs> uh, will have an error because 
we don't have uh, an empty uh, an seats an empty name seats so a blank seats <coughs> so we have to add uh, an if if combo seat value Uh, not blank, not equal to blank, then run this and if plus if. <coughs> Let's try it. Sorry. Boom, back, okay, okay, let's run well, okay, now, <clears throat> uh, usually we have uh, an instruction here at uh, the combo box for the user to know what to do with this combo box. We can add this in the uh, here. First, we are going to add combo sheet. Dot value. equals to please select a seat and we put this to the first so every time uh, the swap sheet uh, activated the uh, combo box right here will change to uh, please select seat. That's right. Oops. Okay. That works fine. Okay. Um, now we try to add New seats and name it number six. Put it right there and delete number five. Back to the please select like seat. Now we have one, two, three, four, and six, and no number five. That works. Okay, I uh, hope you enjoy the video. I hope these tricks uh, will help you out with your uh, assignment, maybe, or your works. Uh, thank you for watching. Please uh, like this video. Don't forget to comment and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and bye.